Welcome back. I bought something for Bella, and it's it's for me too to give me some more more freedom and the freedom to be able to take her with me. I bought her a trailer to pull behind the e-bike. I know some of you have uh, spotted that box in the garage and already know about it, um, but I've unboxed it. I've got it in the van. We're gonna head down here to a little section of uh, rails to trails, uh, the rails to trails system here in uh, Freeport, Pennsylvania. I introduced her to it at the garage, and um, her first impression, she was uh, not too excited about it at all. She says, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing yet. You know, the animals have a funny way of uh, being like Houdini. If they don't like something, uh, escaping it, even if you have them tethered in. Uh, she did that, I hooked it up at the garage. She got in it without too much trouble, but as soon as I moved it, you know, not even a foot or two, she did this weird maneuver, and despite having the tether on there, she was had the back half of her body out of it. She is not crazy about this thing, but we're gonna hope, hopefully we can overcome that today. And I have a, I have a method that I think she'll be, a, she might go for. We'll ease her into it. Okay, there she has her leash on. The first thing I want to get in her head is that, yeah, this is going to be a leashed area. So, uh, not just the leash, this leash, but also the leash inside the car. Okay, this is a leashed area. It's an area where we can go for a walk. Okay. She's already done her business right before we left. She's okay. She just snooping around smelling other dog smells come on out of there oh somebody didn't pick up huh come on come on go this way let's let's go try something all right i have the e-bike on the van <sighs> all right let me get this here off of here and get her uh get her little trailer out the first thing is i don't want to duplicate what happened at the garage it kind of freaked her out a little bit. I don't know if she's gonna go for this or not. It may have been a waste of money. You know, some dogs are go for this sort of thing and some don't. I'm hoping she adjusts and uh, she'll, she'll, she'll take to it here pretty quickly. I just have it here all collapsed and folded up and uh, slid into the back of the van. Let me get this thing out. See if she's up for it this morning. Come on, girl. I hope you're I hope you're up for it because it, it'll mean more adventure for both of us it will I promise okay I have all the pieces and parts out um, this has uh, two modes it's either a trailer or a stroller and what we might do is uh, actually put that that front wheel is used when you use it as a stroller and you leave it off when you uh, use it as a trailer but I think for just a few moments here I'm gonna leave the bike out of the equation and rig it up to the stroller as the stroller mode and uh, we might get on a, just this little stretch here of black black plot pavement just take her for a little walk in it and back uh, keep it simple and then uh, based on how she does eh, maybe I'll hook it to the e-bike and <laughs> we'll go we'll see all right this goes together like really easy and quick these wheels just have a quick connect there it's that easy and then there's a little release button to take them back off oops <laughs> Bella says things are already banging around I don't like it what's going on here we'll pop these on here real quick and then this folds up and then the handle goes in here to, to it keeps it open so and there's a rear entry here and there's also a front entry. Oh <laughs> boy. All right. Oh, and here's the uh, the tow bar. There's a clip where, when you use it as a trailer, it folds up to the front to hook it onto the bike. But when you use it as a st in the stroller mode, it just stays back here. 
Now, this might all seem silly because Bella's an active dog. She needs her exercise. Why, why rob her of being able to get that exercise and trailer her around? Um, you know, it's not for every day. You know, this is primarily for those times when I go to the rails to trails uh, on the e-bike, right? You know, I could go miles and miles and miles on the e-bike. And I, I'm kind of stuck having to leave her left behind. And then I'm always thinking, well, Bella's back at the van or the RV all by herself. And is everything okay, you know, at the vehicle? And, you know, that's, that's always going on up here. And, you know, should I start heading back yet? And, and that sort of thing. Well, if it's just a vehicle by itself, it, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. If, if she's with me, you know, I can stay out longer and go further. So that's the primary reason for this it's, it's for both of us <laughs> okay I got the handle part on that that holds it all you know keeps the two sides up uh, let me see here how this works I have not put this on yet I only had it in the trailer mode the other day all right I suppose this just goes here Oop. this just goes here that just goes through there Come on, what's the, what's the trouble here? Wow, they, the, the, wow, the holes don't even, well, there was a problem with the manufacturing. Those holes don't line up quite. Uh, wow. What do you do when they manufacture the holes in a way that just doesn't quite line up and let the bolt through? I'll have to open that up with a drill later, but I think I can still make it work for today. For the short period, we're gonna do it. And then I remembered, I actually have the tools with me in the van to fix this up real quick. I can't get a real straight angle on it because of these. But I just go straight through from one side. All right, that's gonna work. Now it goes. here snug this up a little close Oop, too much there it's not coming off now all right <laughs> now I think the mistake I made too was okay this will all roll back so she has nice open uh, viewing but and where's the yeah and here's the leash thing so i thought here she can't she won't be able to get out but uh like I say, she did a flip and had her had her uh back end out out here so that was bad so to get started i might have to choke up on that uh i don't know a little bit more actually to get started i might leave the i might close the screen so she can't do that again just for the first minute or two until she sees that it's going to be okay <laughs> Oh boy. Wait, where's the window part? Okay, the window's up. I wish the screen went the other way. So I could leave all this. I could leave all this in place and just leave leave that open. Well, I don't know. Let's we'll see if it matters here. Okay, okay girl. Are we gonna try this again? I don't know if I really want to do this today, Dad. I don't know. It looks like you're going to try to make me, aren't you? Come here. Okay, you want to go for a ride in here? Come on. Go 
on, get in. Come on, get in. Come on, let's go for a ride. Come on, get in. Get in. Get in there. There you go. Now you stay. You just stay. <laughs> Come on, get in there. All right, she's trapped in there. She's, she seems relatively calm. Let's head down here a little bit. Okay, going for a ride, girl. I'll open that up, so. I'll open that up here in a minute so we can see her. She's like, oh, I don't know. She's looking around like, this might not be too bad. All right, wait a minute. See, you didn't die. You stay. See, you didn't die. You're okay. Stay. Good girl. See, we can go for rides in this thing. Okay. Well, we're off to a much better start <laughs> than we were the other day. Give me this. Give me this thing. We need to we need to shorten it up. I'll make we'll make this work, girl. I promise. Okay. See now you can't get out there, can you? No. See, it's okay. We're just gonna start with this way here first. Okay. Going for a ride. <laughs> All right. You wanna check out the, what's going on out front? There, it needs a little Velcro thing that. Well, let's just go for it and open it up. This way. No, that, you stay in there. You turn around, but you've got to stay in. Okay. Okay, you're going to stay in, okay? You'll stay. You can sit. He's like, okay, this is <laughs> this might work. And <laughs> she says, I don't understand what. Whoa. No. You have to stay in. You have to stay in. You have to stay in there. Good girl. You stay. <laughs> this, well, this jumping out thing doesn't work out too well. Maybe I should just stay in here. Huh? Maybe I should have hooked her leash on the front and... and pulled her along that way she's used to me being up here what do you think this, this is crazy she says I don't know about this thing no you stay good girl you gotta stay in there okay you good <laughs> This all seems a bit silly to me. Yeah, I need to do something better. Uh, it is absolutely certain that she couldn't that uh, she couldn't do that little maneuver while he's you know going 10 or 15 miles an hour on the bike. She, she could certainly get injured. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if I'm ready for that maneuver. What do you think? I think she'd be okay with it, but I just, I need a way to 
just guarantee there's no way she could do that little front exit thing. She could seriously get injured. You know, by the time I got the bike, the, the bike in the trailer stopped. That would be bad. Well, she got in reluctantly. I just went ahead and enclosed both screens for now. Uh, for her safety. She, she is tethered in there. We're just going to take her for a ride. An easy ride. And uh, hopefully this goes well. Okay. We've come to the end of this paved section. And I, yeah, that's maybe a quarter mile long. But I, I don't want to push it. We're just going to give her an initial introduction to it that she's not going to die in it. And then we'll just let her absorb that. <laughs> and we might get on with some other things. I got a lot done with the van this week here. We might uh, show you here after a bit. Uh, maybe I'll stop and check on her. You doing okay back here? You doing okay? <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> Poor girl. Yeah, there's some modifications need made to this. Yeah, this zipper needs turned around. You know, if I could zip it down to this level and fold this front down, um, that would be better. I, I don't know what to do with that. All right, you're you're doing all right. Yeah, see, no, 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 you have to stay in. Get in there. Nope, nope, get in there. Set. Yeah, she's not crazy about it. I hope she grows to like it though. So I'm glad I didn't go too far. So I hate to hate to get, um, take her through a grueling, you know, five miles, and she's just hating it. And then five miles back, she'd be just probably so traumatized. I think we'll do this in baby steps. All right. All right. Heel on. Power on, pedal assist level two. Oops, kickstand up. All right. We'll get this thing back nice and calm and Let her think about all this. Are you traumatized? <laughs> Are you traumatized, girl? Poor thing. Well, she was a little bit. We came back to the van and I um, opened it up and realized, you know, this, up where we turned around at, she was okay. But when we, sometime between when we um, turned around and headed back, she twisted around there a couple of times and had that strap around one of her legs twice. So that's not good. She wasn't comfortable for that last, you know. I mean, it we're only, it's not even a quarter mile. It's probably maybe an eighth. But, so I got her untangled and I I thought, let's try one more thing. Um, because she can't get out. I have both screens closed. Um, let's just leave the leash off. She's in there if she wants to turn around, look at something or move around in there. She can't while getting herself tangled. So, and we took another, another ride up and back and she did pretty okay, but this thing's gonna take some getting used to for her and I'm, I don't know uh, I mean she did pretty okay <laughs> I just hate to do anything to traumatize you so. <laughs> although she was traumatized one time a little bit when we 
uh, first went for a ride in a side by side but uh, she actually grew to like that um, a whole bunch so says I love riding in the side by side uh, hopefully she'll she'll enjoy this too uh, eventually I don't know how many times I'll try it and I don't know I know I have to fix this I that's just there's no way around that even if she got perfectly comfortable with it, there's just the, the chance that maybe she sees a squirrel or something or a rabbit and she wants to leap out of it while we're cruising. I need to make that fail proof that she cannot leap out the front of it. Out the back would be okay. <laughs> she might get a little scuffed, but you know, out the front she could she could get in the way of this thing and it'd run her over. Not that it's real heavy, but still, she that just wouldn't be good. Poor girl. Poor girl. All right, I'm gonna get this thing put away here. Seems good, put it away. We're, let's be done with it. Right now, my honest opinion, at least at this point today, was it's one of those things that seemed like a, a fantastic idea at the time that may, may have been just a, a dumb purchase. That's it, just how I feel right now. I don't know. Maybe it'll turn out to be a, a great thing, but that's, that's the feeling I have today. The truth is, Bella would be much rather be out walking or running. Even if it did mean five, 10, 15 miles. That's the bottom line of it. But I don't know that I'm up for 10, 15 mile hikes. You know, the e-bike easily has a 25 mile range. And depending on how much you're using the battery, if you, what level power assist you have it on, if it's on just one or two that I'm doing some of the work and it's doing some of the work, um, it's ready to go up to 45 miles. But if I'm really taking advantage of the electric motor and stuff on it, it's only like 25. But you know, that would allow more exploration, more sightseeing. I really love the rails and trail system and, you know, I don't know about them five, 10, 15, you know, the longer hikes, that, that's what I had in mind there. That, yeah, and the short ones, sure, we'll, we'll get the leash and we'll just walk it. It's good for both of us. But the longer ones, it'd be nice to take advantage of the e-bike. And truth is the e-bike would have more miles on it, a lot more miles on it than it does if I didn't have to leave Bella behind with it. So, you know, I go a little ways and then I get back. So th there's all those, th all those things to consider and I'm just, I'm just not sure. Just not sure about it all right now. Let me know your thoughts in the, down in the comments. Smart decision that's gonna work out or do I waste my money? <laughs> that's all. We'll be back again soon. Mm -hmm.